guys, what's up? So, um, I have another Christmas video. <laughs> I know I keep doing Christmas videos, but I'm so excited for Christmas. It's a week from tomorrow, which makes it eight days away. I'm super excited. I hope you guys are too. And if you aren't, that's okay. And if you don't celebrate it, happy other holidays. And be excited for those too, because those are great too. But yeah, I'm just really excited. I'm going to put on my Santa hat for this, because Christmas videos. Santa hat. Oops. There we go. Santa hat on. So, we're going to be making some really awesome things today. This is not a DIY, not a DIY. What? It's just making things. So, yeah. In this video, I will be making four things. Otherwise, it'll be in two videos and two parts. But hopefully, I can get it all in one video. But we are going to be using my paint maker. Dun -dun -dun. And my marker maker. Dun -dun -dun. So, we're going to be making two paints and two markers. And they're going to be the same color. But, yeah. I made the recipe. <laughs> and so, I'm going to start with the markers so they can sit while we make the paints. So to get started, I'm going to take my marker maker here. I have a review on both of these sets. I've done other videos with them. I actually don't need anything from in here because I laid it all out. But I do need this. So I'm going to be making two colors. So I need this little thingy. Here, I'll flip it this way. This little doohickey. And this little doohickey. They're the same thing. <laughs> so I need to get my colors. I'm going to make one in this one. So I need my red. And I'm going, whoa, that happened. I am filling it up 15 with red. And then I'm going to insert this little thing, which is the, like, whoa, ink cartridge. And it'll suck that up while we make the other one, which I need nine blue and there are little measurement things on the side so I can use those you guys can't really see them but I can nine blue I was lucky that that one needed to be all red oh, I hope I didn't spill any on the carpet my mom would be mad okay good and then six yellow so this is going to be a green as you can tell if you don't know your color mixing then you probably wouldn't have been able to tell you know your color mixing, then you would know. <laughs> so now I need to add in the other ink cartridge. So, yeah. Now I'm going to flip this ink cartridge over. If that makes any sense at all. And I'm going to set up the next step, which involves this. I need to put this thingy in here, put that in there, and then now, you guys won't really see this part, but I'm going to take this thing, put it in there. Get in there, you. I need to put this cap over it. Then I swing them down hard until I hear that. There we go. Now we've got red in here going. I'm going to put my cap on it, and... Just made a whole marker, and now we're gonna stick this one right there to dry. Yeah, stick it in there to like work. It's magic. And then we're gonna do the other, the same thing to the other one, but we gotta flip it first because it's not flipped. This one's green. All right, I'm gonna set up the other one. Here we go. Again, this isn't really a tutorial. I flipped it back over because that didn't really pick up a lot. So I'm going to stick that thing on. Two snaps. Here we go. Now we're going to... This would cap itself. Sit those there to work their magic. And I'm going to go clean these off. So if for some odd reason you guys don't know, both of these sets are made by Crayola. So everything washes off really easily. See? 
And they are working their magic over here. I put this one in the wrong way, so it's like, I'm going to do it this way. That actually might be a better idea. But I need to put these away. And, yeah. While we put those away, I'm going to be working on the paints now. I already know you guys are going to ask me to make food with my markers that I've made. So, we'll see if I do that. I'm setting up, I have a review on this as well, as I said, and, um, so, what I need to do first is take this blank cartridge, I can stick it in there, take my white paint, it's just white paint, you could use this and make, like, a white paint if you wanted to, but, like, what fun is that? Got to, oof. oh, it's working. Alrighty, there we go. Put in your white paint, which I just did. You can sit there, but I can also sit back here. So, whoa. Sorry, it's not focusing. So then I'm going to, I need red, and there are these little sheets over here. And I just need five, so I'm just going to take this whole sheet. So again, these are the same colors like the ones that I'm making of the markers and the paints. I'm gonna break them up to make it easier. They are going to mix in here. Sorry if I'm sounding really loud, I'm like right next to the camera. I'm like about to touch it with my chin. <laughs> and no, I'm not kidding. <laughs> So there we go. Now we have it in there. And I'm going to stick it in there and then I have to mix it. So this gets noisy. I have to mix it for a long time, so I'll let you guys go. I've been mixing it for like a minute. Oh, well, I don't know. It's been a while. Let's have a look. It needs to be mixed more. So it's coming out good, but it could be better. And I already have names for them. I picked them out before I even made the colors, so yeah. Give this one a good shake. Wait. Let's have a look-see. There we go. That's the color I was hoping for. Now we've got one, and I'm going to set it to the side. Let's check on our markers really quick. Looks like this one is done. This one has a little bit to go. So by the time we finish our other one, it should be good. Now we've got to make another paint. So here's our next color. I'm going to open this up. And need more white paint. Let me just open that up. Hold on. There we go. And I never actually used any of the paints before. I've used the markers before, but not the paints, which is kind of weird. I make them, but I've never used them. I still have a whole refill pack, too. <laughs> but I still have a ton of this pack. So now I'm going to be adding in three blue and two yellow. So. Why do I have so many of these blank film like strips? I'm gonna take a bunch of those out. Oh, here's my two yellow. Yeah, I have so many of these little blanks, like, things. Yeah, whatever. Oh wait, I don't need all these blue. I need three. There we go. I'm going to also break these in half. Whoops, did I just drop one? Where'd it go? Over here. So i got to break these up. Oops. Just keep dropping them. And then we've got these two yellow ones. 
So again, this is also green. And into the machine it goes. Oops. Here we go. I've been mixing it for a while. I'm just going to give it a few more. Let's have a look at it. Ooh, that one mixed pretty well. Let's check in on our markers. So yeah, this one is definitely done. This one needs like a little bit longer. So why don't we make the label for this one while we're waiting? So whenever I make the labels for these things, whoa, sorry guys, I, need, I was gonna make it small so you could see it, but my tripod wants to fall over if I do that, so. I always like, color the edges so I can see what it looks like. That way it'll help me name it, but I already have a name for it, so it's okay. But again, I always color the edges anyway. That's what the color looks like, and I'm pretty sure I color this part too. And the name I came up with for this color is Christmas Tree Green. Here is my Christmas tree green, and I can prove it to you, but I don't want to prove it until I get my red ones because I don't want you guys to figure out the name beforehand because it's super cute. There we go. Christmas tree green. Actually, if I just go like this, you can see that I actually did do Christmas tree green. But I'm not showing the other one yet. So that's Christmas tree green. And yeah, I think our red is done. Let's see how this one looks. Oh, awesome. So that's the name of my green paint as well. Because I made them the same color. All right, this is what the red looks like, and the name I came up with it is came up with came up with for it is Santa Red. Otherwise, it was gonna be Santa Baby. <laughs> I want to see the proof. Here's my proof. Santa Red. I've had this. So yeah, now I'm gonna stick it on. Oops. Should have opened the cap first. I find it easier to put these things on when there's no cap. Not really sure why, but I just do. I've been planning to do this for a while. I thought that was a fun little Christmas video. I also need to color on my box. I do have a video showing all of the markers that I've made, so if you want to see it, um, I have it. This is my Santa bread right here. You always got a color on the box. You know what's in there. I've made lots more markers than I have paints. Yet I never use them. There's my red. I'm going to use my green over here. I do like this green. I don't really like green, but I do like this one. And I chose to do red and green because they are like Christmas colors. Well, they are Christmas colors. So there we go. For my paints on the labels, I was going to use the colors to write them. So we're gonna write. Santa Red on this one. Oops, did I go? Oh yeah, I went over. Mm -hmm. I will be cautious of that.
Go, Christmas tree green. And Santa red. There we go, Christmas tree green. And Santa red, which got cut off. go. My paint maker actually came with some paper, so I am going to, I haven't used any of it yet, which is why it's still in the packaging. I'm going to use some, and we're going to write with these materials. So we can use this to help us. So I think I'm going to write Merry Christmas with our markers. So I'm going to do like every other letter. They do come out really well. I might bring these to school because they're like Christmassy. Merry Christmas. And then for our paints, it also came with a paintbrush, but I've never used it. I was thinking I could paint a Christmas tree. So I was going to use the red to make the little like base of the tree. Again, I've never used these, so. I've never actually painted with the paint. I will say it does turn out pretty well. I'm not dipping it too much. I need to go wash off my brush now so I can use it in the green. All right, I am back, and for my green, oh, I'm so excited. Pretty bad Christmas tree drawing. I'm just going quick, because, yeah. Because I feel like it. This came out really well. You can also use the paintbrush to help stir it up. Christmas tree. Now I will wash this off in a minute. So guys, thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe and in the comments let me know first which color do you like better? The Santa red or the Christmas green? You can also base it off of the color and I mean the name of the color. And what do you like better? Markers or paint? I really don't have an opinion. I like them all. So thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye!